I just saw the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm at a bit of a loss for words right now. Give me a minute. I got time off from work and drove up from Pasadena to the ACM IEEE conference in San Francisco. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff going on this week, I'm sure, but uh, nothing like what I just saw. A uh, fellow named Douglas Engelbart from Stanford Research just so showed a new kind of computer system. He called it the online system. It was like nothing I'd ever seen. Engelbart used the, the online system to give his presentation. He didn't just give a demonstration. He gave his whole presentation using this new kind of computer. First off, try to picture this. It was a computer display where you could actually change the results on the screen. Not by typing on the terminal and then refreshing the screen, but on the screen. Engelbart was editing text directly on the screen, moving things around. And it wasn't just text. It was graphs and pictures and outlines. It was like he had a big flip chart and he was cutting pieces of paper and pasting them around. But this was on a computer display. He showed off how to use the NLS with some examples. First, he made a shopping list. Man, this is kind of silly, I know. He was going to use a million dollar computer to do the shopping. But it illustrated his points. He'd type some text and it would show up on the screen, uh, names of things at the grocery store, potatoes, carrots, peas, aspirin, paper towels. He would then, uh, he wasn't satisfied with the way it looked, so he would move the items around. He was taking a list and reordering it on the screen. And then he would categorize them. He, he wasn't satisfied, so he put them into categories, produce, uh, supplies, medicine. And he'd make an outline out of that with indentation and everything. I, I can still picture this in my head. The way Engelbart moved things around, he, he had this device he had built and called a mouse a little box connected with a wire to the computer and it had some buttons on it and, and you could move the box horizontally or vertical vertically and when you did there was a tracking point on the screen that's what he called it a tracking point a little black shape that would move with the movements of the mouse and that's how he would locate the text or pictures and move them around then he showed us a less contrived example then he showed us a less contrived thing. It was information about his group at SRI, uh, the organization, how many people were in it. It was so amazing. It didn't just have text, but it had pictures. He showed a line chart of the growth in number of employees, starting with him, the first person there. Um, and then he popped open a, a, a chart, a tree, that showed the structure of the organization. He had a, a, a tree chart, but this is a, it was up on the screen, and he'd click on a part of the chart and it, and it would expand right in front of you on the screen. It was the most amazing thing I'd seen. Until then he showed the next thing which was when he would pick on a piece of text it would go to another data file. It would actually open up another file. He called that linking. Engelbart would click from link to link to link and then back to the original file. There's, there's so much more, I, I can't even remember. I took some notes. Um, he had a live camera link from San Francisco to SRI in Menlo Park. I, I'm going to guess that's a microwave truck um, beaming the television signal. He had a dedicated data line between the auditorium and San Francisco and the computer in Menlo. The computer wasn't even in San Francisco. He was operating the computer in Menlo Park from the auditorium in San Francisco. Engelbart uh, works in the Augmented Human Intellect Research Center, or HIRC, on what he calls man-computer projects. Uh, and apparently there's more than one man-computer team at SRI. He, he calls the system the NLS, again, 
for online system. And the goal of the NLS is to help humans operate within the domain of complex information structures. They're not calculating numbers. They're not sending robots to the moon. That's what I do. They're making computers for regular people. At one point in the presentation, Engelbart called the computer his friend. Yeah, that was a little wild, I know. I didn't know they were talking about stuff like this in public. I hope we can get one of these to use down at JPL. That demo. That demo. That was the mother of all demos. Okay, so now I'm going to go to another presentation by a fellow named Ivan Sutherland to talk, to talk about another kind of computer display, something he calls a head-mounted display. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it can't be as amazing as what I just saw.